Yang Guo, and Xiao Longnu. When many of us hear these two names, we are likely to think of a touching romance against all odds. The Return of the Condo Heroes was first serialized from 1959 to 1961, before going on to be adapted into television dramas and comic books we may be familiar with. Contrary to many Uxia works written in the era, which were mainly centered around the cultivation of martial arts, Return of the Condor Heroes is instead most fondly remembered for its romantic plot. Yang Guo and Xiao Longnu's devotion to each other, which transcends long periods of separation, certainly stands out. But looking into the specifics of their relationship portrayal, what really makes this couple so memorable? In this video, we will analyze the relationship between Yang Guo and Xiao Longnu and delve into an interesting discussion. What dating advice can we get from this popular power couple? The balance between romance and goals stands out most in their relationship dynamic. While romance plays a big part in the plot, Yang Guo and Xiao Longnu still work to achieve their separate goals during their relationship. Despite their budding romance through the series, the couple respects each other's goals and often help each other to improve their martial arts skills. The couple also deviates from typical gender roles. While they start off with an older teacher and younger student dynamic, Xiao Longnui doesn't quite fall into the trope of being a weak female protagonist waiting for her knight in shining armor to save her. It starts off quite the opposite in fact, and she saves him in their first few meetings. Certainly, there are significant scenes where Xiao Longnui is saved by Yang Guo, but in those scenes, she has also put up a good fight on her end, and is only often on the losing side because she has been outnumbered. So, I wouldn't quite call her the damsel in distress. We shouldn't forget too, that Xiao Longnui is not only depicted as a competent fighter on her own, but also one who is focused on improving her martial arts skills too. The wedding scene being arranged in the middle of the entire series is a deviation from standard love stories, where marriage is often placed at the end. Personally, I read the placement of this scene to metaphorically imply that marriage isn't the end goal of any relationship, and that a couple will still face trials and tribulations even after marriage. Yang Guo also does not share Xiao Longnui's concern over the loss of a chastity, unlike conservative conventions at that time another sign that he respects her for more than her body. However, good storytelling isn't complete without conflict. In The Return of the Corner Heroes, trouble wedges itself in the way of the two's relationship in frustrating ways. Granted, many people are in the way of Yang Guo and Xiao Longnu's relationship. However, what makes readers really frustrated is the number of misunderstandings which constantly plug their relationship. The two have communication issues, and that is a glaring problem between them. Their relationship actually mirrors that of real life, which has flaws. And this realistic depiction shows us that every relationship has its share of problems. First, Xiao Longnu mistakes the man who sexually assaults her for Yang Guo, and he is clueless as to why she gets so upset about his rejection. More misunderstandings plug their relationship, and semi spoiler alert, Xiao Longnui ends up telling a really big lie at the end. Another issue between the two could be the regression of Xiao Longnui's agency in the relationship as the series progresses. Okay, okay, let me explain this. In no way do I mean she starts being controlled by Yang Guo or anything like that. But in contrast to a determined fixation on mastering different martial arts skills at the start of the series, this desire of hers wanes consistently. For most of the second half of the series, she mentions how she fights only for Yang Guo. Okay, but what I would have loved for her to keep improving her skills just to get stronger, her sudden shift of focus to Yang Guo could imply a new priority considering how she was raised in a tomb and only ever knew how to train. Her shift in priority could be seen as corrected development, where she now has the agency to prioritize what she wants. Ultimately, just like every relationship, Yang Guo and Xiao Longnu have their ups and downs, and the representation of their relationship actually has a lot for us to emulate and learn from. Overall, if we're talking love advice in Return of the Counter Heroes, I'll summarize it simply. 
keep up the mutual respect, and of course, the main takeaway. Sometimes, it would really help to be explicit in communicating with your significant other.